Hi lovelies, welcome to the channel. I have another art journal video for you today using um, some of the prints that I made in my last video where I had some fun with my new toy, my gel press. Now I haven't actually done an art journal video in a little while, mostly because I feel that my planner videos in my Dilutions diary um, are very arty, well they are art journal spread, so I figure that sort of um, counts as an art journal page and I don't want to overload you too much with the art journal videos. So yeah, but I just really wanted to play in my art journal today and I had a lot of fun with my gel press um, on the weekend. I just got it last Friday and yeah, I went and made a whole bunch, which I have right now and I wanted to use them in my art journal now. If you watch that video, and I will link that video in the description below because I had so much fun doing it. Uh, I actually used my gel press straight in my journal. I wanted to see if I could do a print straight into my journal instead of on um, loose paper. And I did. I did two. One I absolutely adored and I didn't record the process of that. But I quickly finished off the page and it's one of my favourite art journal pages. It's actually on my Instagram. I might have to link you to that too. But... I didn't record it, so and this one I wasn't too fond of. It didn't exactly work out the way I had planned. Well, you don't really plan a gel print, do you? But I wasn't overly, you know, you can't really see what's going on and things. So I thought it worked great as a background. So I thought I would um, use that as the starting of my video for today. It does make my video a fair bit shorter because my background is done for me. Uh, what I have decided to do is go and get... Um, some of the butterflies from some of my other prints because I liked the the distressed look and the book page through it and yeah just cut them out by hand and plonk them all over my page. You will have noticed that the lighting did change a bit and I apologize for the very bad lighting at the beginning of the video. Uh, what happens is in my art room I'm out in my garage that's been converted into a craft room and I have these beautiful glass lighting doors which lets in all this natural light. But for about one to two hours a day, just as the sun's starting to go down, the light shines right into my room. During summer, it makes it impossibly hot. But we're in winter now, so it's not too bad. But what it does is it gives me these horrible shadows through my doors and, you know, through all my tools and things. So it's, it's the worst time of day to film a video. Generally, I don't film. But it's also the time of day that I find I have the most time to create. Because it just gives me, um, my boys are chilling out on iPads or something like that. And it's just giving me like a, a, an hour or two. It's I tend to find it's when I want to be creative, of course. Because I can't film the process. So I just wanted to get there. I was hoping to beat the sunset and I didn't quite. So I closed my blinds and hoped for the best. And I was actually pretty lucky. It didn't, um, it didn't affect the video too bad once I closed the blinds up. So... Yes, just wanting to apologise for that. So I've been rambling on, I haven't told you anything about um, the page. <laughs> so I started with my um, gel press, my gel print background. And you, if you follow the link below to that video, you'll see when I make this print. And also those butterflies as well. But what I did beforehand was I got um, one of my Dilution stencils. It was sitting on my desk, so as you know... When things are out, I tend to use them more often. So it was just sitting on my desk left over from um, when I was using it last. And I just got some um, gesso because that's always on my desk and just decided to add a little bit, little bit more to that background to make it a little bit more interesting. And that's when I cut out the butterflies. And I did dry it with my heat gun. I dry most things with my heat gun because I'm too impatient to wait. But I cut that out so you don't have to be bored because it bores me. Why would you want to watch it? So, yeah, once I've put those butterflies down, I use a bit of gel medium to stick those. And then I really like the, the hand-drawn look. I love the doodling look. I'm not very good at it. But I do like what it adds to the page. And I did want to add a bit more black um, onto this page to go along with my butterflies. So I get my few ball pen, which I love. I have not been able to kill this. And I'm a very impatient drawer on my pages. I don't wait for anything to dry properly. I've killed many, many paint pens doing this. I have not killed this pen yet, and I did even put this through um, gel medium that wasn't quite dry, so it's a great pen to have. And I'm just outlining those diamonds. Uh, up here, I attempted to go around one of the butterflies that was from the, the gel print. Failed miserably, so I thought about covering up. It wasn't working. So I just, you know, I just decided to go with it. I turned it into a heart and just sort of scribble over it. It's part of the page. It works. 
Um, I do like to add something as a focal point, generally some words or quotes. These are my favourite. Um, they're just little phrases on some tiny word stickers. And I just got three out and put them on the biggest butterflies using my favourite um, Stabilo pen, uh, pencil sorry, to outline. And that's it for my layout. So I hope you enjoy the art journal videos. I sure do. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll be back real soon. Bye.